Now, let's get back to a sport that's actually in season. The women's water polo team, they're going to start their MPSF tournament tomorrow. I'm joined by Ben Albert, Benny Brackets, to help break it down. Benny Brackets is back. Thank you for ha having me, my guy. Let's get after it. Let's do it. So USC, they've dropped to that three line with a couple late season losses to Stanford and UCLA. So they're not going to get that coveted by. And instead, they're going to take on San Jose State in the first round. They've already played them this season. What do you expect to see there? Yeah, Jackson, when they played earlier in the season, it was actually just a couple weeks ago, USC won handily. It was 19-3. They shut out San Jose State in the second half of that game the entire time. And to me, I, I see USC repeating that success. Obviously, they have to prepare the right way. They have to come mentally ready to go. But I do think USC is going to move on. Uh, Brigida Games, for instance, scored seven goals. That's a career high for her in that game. Expect USC to be moving on from that first round. And if they do get that win, which where I'd say we're expecting them to, they're probably going to have to take on number two Stanford, the team that gave them that loss to end their streak. So what are you seeing in that matchup? Both teams have beaten each other this year. Right. Yeah, Stanford ended USC's 52-game win streak. Um, USC won earlier this season against Stanford by just one goal. It was a tightly contested game. Right. But then Stanford just beat USC, and they beat them at home here to Tangsu. They won by four goals. So this game is definitely going to be one to watch because Stanford has proven they can definitely beat USC. They're ranked higher than USC right now. And, and look, USC can definitely pull this one off, but they're going to need a team effort. Everybody's going to have to bring their A game. Yeah, and they're not going to be in the comfort of the Utenku Aquatic Center for the MPSF tournament, so it's a little bit of a disadvantage again for them. But if they can make it past Stanford, it's going to be a really tough game. They're going to take on number one ranked UCLA, who just beat them last week. What are you seeing there? Exactly, and you mentioned it's not going to be at Otengsu. Well, U UCLA, when they beat USC last week by four, another four goals, it was at UCLA, which is where this tournament's taking place. So that is a bit of a cause for concern for USC. Let's put it this way. It's going to be a tough road no matter what. We've talked about it on the show before. The MPSF is the most talented conference in the country, and this is why. You've got Stanford, you've got UCLA, and you've got USC all competing. You don't know what's going to happen, but... We know that USC is good enough to win. So if they, if they bring it and they're, they're prepared, hopefully that loss earlier might uh, fuel the fire, Motivate might them give them uh, you know, a little bit to take away from the earlier game that they can do right this time. They'll come out on top. And they're definitely prepared. They're geared up for this tournament. They're excited for the chance to play these two teams once again, potentially. And senior Avery Peterson spoke about how excited they are for the postseason this week in practice. It's always really exciting, and I think it really fires up everyone on the team because Stanford and UCLA are two of our bigger rivals, and it's exciting to play them. So I think everyone's pretty excited, and then once we get into MPSF tournament and NC2As, it's kind of all on the line, so it's very emotional, and everyone's putting in their all, but that's what makes it the most exciting part of season. She said it. She talked about putting in her all. Ben, I'm going to make you put in your all. Put you on the spot a little bit here. Where do you see USC ending up in this tournament? Uh, let's see. Jackson, I, uh, as I said, San Jose State, I think they win. I think they beat Stanford. Okay. I think it's going to be a number one, number two, UCLA, USC, crosstown rivals <laughs> going at it. And you know what? I predicted uh, earlier, or last semester actually, wrong uh, when I went against USC women's soccer. I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to say USC pulls it out on the road quote-unquote, upsets UCLA, and they bring it home the MPSF conference title. Okay, well, it's going to be exciting, and it all starts tomorrow. USC takes on San Jose State tomorrow as the MPSF tournament for water polo kicks off.